Good afternoon, friends. It's Deborah. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you another cook with me. Um, I had this package of organic chicken breasts. Typically, there's three of them in here. They're nice and defrosted. And you know what? I went on to Pinterest today and I thought, I want something with mushrooms. I want like a mushroom chicken. So let me look it up. So I found one. It's called One Skillet Chicken with Garlicky Mushroom Cream Sauce. So let me go ahead and read you the ingredients. So you're gonna need four boneless, skinless chicken breasts or thighs. Um, I'm gonna be slicing these in half because they are kind of thick. Salt and pepper, one cup chicken broth, one tablespoon minced garlic, half teaspoon red pepper flakes, half teaspoon dried thyme, two tablespoons olive oil, eight ounces baby bella cremini mushrooms sliced, a third cup finely diced shallots or red onions, two tablespoons butter, a quarter cup heavy cream, and two tablespoons chopped parsley or basil. So here's my chicken. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut them in half because they want you to pound it out as well uh, to half inch thickness. And then I already uh, cut up my shallots. You can use red onion, as, of course if you don't have the shallot on hand. I did get a package of the organic Bella mushrooms. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut up that parsley now. And then in this next step, you want to use a two cup measuring cup or a small bowl, combine the chicken broth, minced garlic, red pepper flakes, and dried thyme. Now here I'm just showing you that I've pounded out my chicken to a half inch thickness and then salt and pepper to taste. Now you want to take your skillet and warm it up then add in your olive oil. Once that is done then you want to add in your mushrooms and you want to saute them until they are brown. So my mushrooms are now brown. I'm just going to stir them around a little bit and then I'm going to remove them from the plate and place them to the side. Next you want to add in your pieces of chicken and you want to cook them about two to three minutes per side just to get them nice and brown. Don't worry if they're not cooked all the way through because we're going to throw this whole skillet in the oven to finish cooking off that chicken. Once your chicken is brown, you want to also remove that, place that to the side, put in your liquid mixture and just, and just whisk that through. You want to do this for about eight minutes so this sauce can thicken up. If you don't do this process, your sauce won't thicken up. You must do this. And it comes out nice and thick. Make sure you leave it just so there's like about a quarter cup of mixture left. Look how beautiful that looks. Next, what I'm gonna do is take that off the flame. You wanna take your two tablespoons of butter and whisk that in. Gives it this very nice, creamy flavor to that. Once your butter is whisked through and melted in, you wanna go ahead and add in your chicken. And then all I did was take my skillet and place that in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. And this is the finished dish, my friends. It was so super delicious, took me no time to make. And I just served it with a little bit of brown rice just to soak up some of those juices. So thank you, friends. Thank you for watching and spending some time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you like my cook with me's. Also comment down below, let me know if you tried this recipe and I will catch you at the next one.